do, but are you feeling crabby? Are you worn out? Whether you toss and turn every night, no matter how hard you try to sleep. Well, you're not alone. It's estimated some 40 million people suffer from sleep disorders, but what can you do? Dr. Rob is here with seven tips to help you get a great night's sleep. I need this. When I heard this, I was like, please tell me what I can do. I'll take two tips. Doesn't everybody need this? Yeah. A good night's sleep. It's one of the most important things that you can do for your body because when you sleep, that's when your body rejuvenates, recuperates, and powers yourself up for the day. And so when you don't get into those deeper stages of sleep at night, yeah. you just don't feel rested. You're not boosting your immune system. You're not boosting that growth hormone that repairs everything, and you feel cruddy all day long, and you yeah. got to drink coffee and stimulants and energy drinks to try and stay awake. Okay, so if we relate to that, if someone at home is watching and say, hey, I'm tossing and turning, I feel cranky at work, I want to change this, do you have ways that we can start a new day. You know we got some tips. We got like some it. good tips, right? And the first thing that you really need to do, Dayton, is maintain a good sleep schedule. Mm -hmm. So what do I mean by that? Going to bed at a regular time every night. So if your work is during the day, getting to bed between that 10 and 11 o'clock hour before you get that secondary release of cortisol, which is going to wake you up. Yeah. Get to sleep. Maintain a regular schedule. Get a good night's sleep. So maintaining a schedule. Avoiding stimulants is the next thing we really want to do because when you have too many stimulants, your body can't rest, it can't rejuvenate. Yeah. So avoiding too much caffeine later in the day, the energy drinks, got to watch eating chocolate at night. For some people, eating chocolate really wakes them up. Okay, a lot of people right. want to avoid, uh, you want to avoid coffee, but some people really can't because they love it. Uh, so if you've got to compromise, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be an advocate for some folks that love coffee because I like coffee, if you've got to minimize it, you, you're saying maybe stay under, what, 3 p.m.? I guess? Yeah, generally around that, that afternoon cup and why people crave caffeine yeah. in the afternoon is when our hormones from our adrenal glands are, are crashing. Okay. And so by hitting the caffeine, you're stimulating epinephrine, norepinephrine from the adrenal glands to get that energy charge. Okay. You have to be careful because long term you can burn out those glands and it'll make you really fatigued and tired. Right. So right. You watch that. All right. What number else do number three, we have this is our third tip here. Keep a ritual. Keep a ritual. You know, reading a book at night, something, things that calm you down, mm -hmm. that really helps with getting a good night's sleep. I know we have some other tips here. Yeah, number four here uh, is a very important one. Be yeah, comfortable. be comfortable. Wear comfortable clothes. Wear the things that make you feel comfortable when you sleep, that make you feel warm. You know? Yeah, like those a snuggie. Kind of things. And, and, yeah, like a snuggie. You have a snuggie? I don't. I no, love it. I don't. <laughs> uh, and keeping the room kind of cool and dark, right? You want the room to be comfortable. If it's too hot, you can't sleep as well. Sure. So keeping it comfortable in that room and getting physical during the day, getting out there, getting your exercise, releasing those feel-good endorphins which will help you rest later in the day. And, of course, during the middle of the day, not taking too many naps. You know, my grandfather used to say, 14 minutes isn't enough, yeah. 16 is too much, <laughs> and 15 is just right. So 15 minutes in the, in the middle of the day to supercharge your day is okay, but sleeping too much, not a good thing. 15 minutes of a nap at work is fine. Yep, you got okay. it. Now, the big thing, if you're having trouble sleeping, and I want you to pay attention closely, Dayton, because this is the money tip. If you're having trouble sleeping, melatonin, and not any kind of melatonin, not the stuff that you see in the drug stores because that has too many fillers and contaminants in it. What you want is micronized, slow-release melatonin. Uh -huh. And melatonin is secreted from the pineal gland in the center of the brain, which helps us get into the deeper stages of sleep, boosts our immune system, is an antioxidant, and it protects us from cancer. And get this, for people that have issues with going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, they get yep. up and have to pee, yep. melatonin will stop that. But it needs to be micronized, slow-release melatonin from a compounding pharmacy. These are excellent tips. Seven tips for you to sleep better tonight. Of course, you can always find more on Dr. Rob. All you have to do is visit AmericasFitnessDoctor.com or alphamaleinstitute.com for more. Thanks, buddy.